What up, what up, what up? Let's get off into the video. Yes, I am leaving work right now. <laughs> I am leaving work right now on my way. On my way to my next destination. Bye. It's one of my kids right there. Let's get off into the video. Little Dirk, Little Dirk just got arrested. Oh, man. That is, oh, man. Sad to hear that because I actually like Little Dirk's music. You guys don't know who Lil Durk is. He's a young rapper out of Chicago, affiliated with uh, OTF, which is a crew out of Chicago. I am not going to explain what he got arrested for because I am not the feds. I am not a detective. And I'm trying to get this video monetized. I don't know how some of these YouTubes get away with saying what, what they say on their videos. And they're making buku money on, on their videos. So I don't know how they get away with it. But if I say one thing wrong, they flag my video. So, go figure. But young man, a uh, little dirt. Uh, Hip-hop. No, um, hip-hop. Um, star, rapper. Uh, I want to say, about, uh, I believe he's 32, 33 years old. His net worth is eight million. Eight million. And if this is true of what they're saying he is alleged of doing, it's sad because not only is he talented, one of the hottest rappers out there, but he's a multi-millionaire. And it's sad if this is true that you know he threw it all away over you know um over this if you guys don't know what he did go out and do your googles but i am not going to mention what uh he's alleged doing so my prayers go out to him my prayers go out to the victim and just every any you know <sighs> Every and anybody that's involved in this case. I hate to see my young black men taking L's. Especially the ones who who were, you know, found success. Because it's hard to find success as a black man in general. As a black person in general. It's hard to find success. And when you achieve success, it's important, it's important to... Uh, make wise decisions and smart choices. So enough about that. I'll probably be um, talking more about uh, the case. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, I don't want to uh, focus. Um, I'll be talking more about that later. Now, let's get on to the other, um, you know it's funny that you got Vince McMahon and you got the CEO of Abercrombie Fitch and let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say that for another video. Let me, let me say that for, uh, another video. I want to talk about this. I, I, I want to talk about this. And since, since I'm on the subject with, you know, black men making smart choices once they find success, this is a segue into Obama and what he said about or towards black men who he feels that's not supporting Kamala Harris. Now, I never came on this platform and just dogged out Kamala Harris. Never did that. Never did that. Because I want to be respectful. Uh, I want to be sensitive towards her and the people that support Kamala Harris. Or Kamala Harris. However you say her name. I have family members that support Kamala Harris. And 
I want to be respectful towards people's decision because I believe that we should have the right to vote for whoever we want to vote for. And we should not use shaming tactics if somebody supports Kamala Harris or somebody who does not support Kamala Harris. And it's sad and unfortunate what, what Obama did because I like Obama. I was disappointed in what he did because nobody, black men, white men, Hispanic men, nobody should be shamed for not voting for a particular party. We should have the right and the choice to vote for whoever we want to vote for. Now, they don't shame Latino men who they vote for, who they support. They don't shame white men. They don't shame Asian men. Why are black men, why are black men shamed? Why? We should not be shamed nor criticized if we don't want to support a particular party. Okay? Me, on the other hand, I'm not I, I'm not criticizing Kamala Harris. I don't care who and what she identifies with. That's not important to me. The race does not, it's not important to me. Although I did vote for Obama because he was black. But um, as far as Kamala Harris and as far as any particular party, Trump we should focus on the policy and not the person. Unfortunately, in politics, people are voting for the person. They're not voting for um, policies. What Obama said and what I'm seeing is a lot of shaming tactics towards black men who were not in support of Kamala Harris. That does bother me. I don't like it. It's not right. And, and honestly, it's not working. Well, a person like me who's on the fence and when you start using shaming tactics, it works against you. What Obama did and said, I think it worked against Kamala Harris. And he should have just kept his mouth closed. So that's my take on it. That's my point of view on it. I have nothing bad or negative to say about Kamala Harris, nor I have nothing bad to say about Donald Trump. I don't. Okay? We're entitled to vote for whomever we want to vote for. Okay? With that being said, you guys know my motto, go out and be a blessing and be blessed for others. I'm out.